To break this down, we're joined by Asaf Gibor, Arab Affairs correspondent for the Mokorishon newspaper. Hello. Hello. Hello, Litan. So what can uh, we tell about this Hamas terror cell? Uh, we're speaking about the uh, Israeli forces that uh, uncovered the uh, activity of Hamas terror cell in East Jerusalem. Uh, we are talking about five men that planning shooting attack against uh, a, a member of the uh, Knesset, Ben Gvir, and, uh, and, other, and other Israeli targets, uh, as well as kidnap uh, soldiers and bombing attack in the Jerusalem light rail uh, using a drone. Uh, a cell that Hamas is, uh, is uh, sending to, uh, to do a terror attack in Israel. In your opinion, how close, close was it to execution? Uh, we actually don't know because uh, Shabak uh, just now, uh, just now uh, saying that uh, exposed this uh, cell of Hamas. Uh, but we know that uh, Hamas is trying uh, for, for a year uh, to, uh, to, to get some acts in Jerusalem uh, uh, partly and in Israel uh, generally to, to present himself as a uh, representative not only of uh, the Palestinian Gaza uh, as well as in uh, East Jerusalem and uh, the Arab Israel or Palestinian Israel uh, Arabs in, uh, in, uh, in general. So the cell uh, was behind, behind that cell was the Rashid uh, Rashak. He was the head of, of this cell. And he worked uh, with uh, another guy from East Jerusalem, Mansour Safadi. Uh, both of them tried to uh, blame uh, that tried to, shooting, uh, to, to do a shooting attack and, or a suicide bombing attack in Jerusalem. And they are uh, re responsible of uh, gather around uh, them uh, um, established a network of Hamas uh, in East Jerusalem who led uh, the recent uh, clash, if you uh, know, uh, in Jerusalem and the Temple Mount last uh, month. Mm -hmm. And as you said, we see Hamas working vigorously to recruit Israeli Arabs and East Jerusalem Arabs to carry out operation on its behalf. How much should we be concerned by this? Uh, we, are, we are concerning uh, in, in the two two points. Uh, but the first of all, the first of them is that uh, Hamas and the Islamic Jihad uh, have threatened uh, to uh, respond of the flag parade that uh, uh, that uh, will will appear in Jerusalem, and, uh, and police uh, actually was uh, increasing the, their forces in Jerusalem because of that threats. And uh, the second of uh, second the second. Um, the second point is that Hamas, as I said, continuing to position, position uh, himself as uh, not only of the guardian of Gaza, uh, but uh, the guardian of Jerusalem and uh, representative of Arab in Israel. So uh, Hamas is trying all in the recent year to uh, to increase his uh, op uh, operations in the, in East Jerusalem and other uh, other Palestinian cities as well as Jenin, uh, Nablus, Shechem, and uh, Khalil, uh, Hebron. And he's trying to, to uh, recruit all these uh, Palestinians, uh, young Palestinians, to do an, uh, terror attacks against uh, Israel, uh, as well as the PA, Palestinian Authority, that is uh, very weak, and uh, Hamas is using it. Uh, as well. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned the flags parade next week on Jerusalem Day. Last year, Hamas was launching rockets at Israel on that day. Yeah, and it threatened uh, with Jihad Islamic to uh, the Jihad Islamic uh, to uh, to act against this uh, parade and to uh, to prevent uh, the parade of uh, steps to Jerusalem, the flag of Israel. And we see uh, along these uh, uh, recent weeks that uh, the Palestinian flag, the Asha flag, uh, is uh, is on Jerusalem, is in in, in uh, even in universities in Ben Gurion, ben -Gurion and uh, all, all Israel, uh, and uh, Hamas is trying to to prevent this uh, parade to happening in Jerusalem, and is threatening to 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 do something against it. Um, what he will going to do, we don't know, but we, there is a big threat uh, 
uh, during these days. Mm -hmm. And meanwhile, the Turkish uh, foreign minister is visiting Israel and is expected to visit the Temple Mount tomorrow. Another pretty explosive event. Yeah, we are talking about the uh, Turkish uh, foreign minister that uh, arrived in, uh, in Israel this morning. And uh, immediately he uh, turned to visit in uh, Ramallah. He's now uh, visiting with uh, Riyad El Malki, the, the Palestinian uh, foreign minister, and uh, and uh, Abu Mazen will be the next one. And uh, he, he 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 later he expected to visit the Temple Mount and El Aqsa Mosque uh, without any Israel, Israeli uh, representative. So it's another act or uh, another act that uh, is very uh, tense, tense in, this day, in those days. And uh, Turkey, Turkey uh, uh, for general, if you spoke about Hamas, Turkey as well, uh, another factor that's trying to uh, influence uh, what's happening in Jerusalem. And it causes tensions, of course. Asaf Gibo, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. ILTV Plus, your news from Israel and more 24-7. Start your free trial today. Subscribe at ILTV.TV and watch from any device.